Welcome to Jamie Created That. Today I'm part of a collaboration where we have six artists doing six different fluid art techniques. Hopefully you were able to see Cindy Art Studio perform a pearl pour at 11 a.m. Mountain Time, followed by Cynthia Porter Studio doing a waterfall wing pour, the gracious host of this collaboration. Up next is It's Art by Donna M., who did a bloom technique, and that was followed by Maida Pores doing a tree swipe. After this video, head over to Robin Crisp Art where she'll do a swipe technique. If you missed any of these videos in the live, go ahead and check the description below for links to all of these artists and their videos, and make sure you check them out. Today I'm going to do a traveling straight pour that's no surprise to anybody that watches my channel. And one of the main keys for doing a straight pour is to have really thick paint. So here I'm showing you the consistency of my paint. I like to make a blob of paint and count one, two, three. And three seconds is about the amount of time that I like my paints for these straight pours. So today one of the colors I'm going to use is a pigment. It's called Persian Purple by Eye Candy. And it's a nice blue purple mixture. And I just suspended that in some polyurethane and then the usual Floetrol Liquitex gloss medium, pouring medium that I use. I also like to have the edges of my canvases pre-painted with a complementary color so that the white on the canvas edges doesn't show as you tilt the paint. All of my paints are mixed with the majority of it being Floetrol and then just a little bit of Liquitex gloss uh, medium which I have a video showing how I mix my paints if you're interested. So for this collaboration, we're all going to share what inspires us in our paintings. And I'm going to do that while I um, show you me filling up the cups. So my, if you haven't seen some of my videos, you'll notice that I really like nature themes and making little scenes out of straight pores. Um, I really like to see when I show my paintings to people. I love to see the reaction of what they come up with, the story behind it. I think it's really cool to hear the little stories that people come up with, especially if they're different than mine. When I first did the Wandering Straight Pours, I was able to make underwater ocean sea type scenes with my favorite colors, blue and green, and I really liked them. I thought they looked like a planted aquarium, which most of my life I've had a planted aquarium, and it's really nice to sit in front of the aquarium and watch the leaves swaying with the water. It's really relaxing, so kind of reminded me of an aquarium, so that's why you see a lot of ocean type of pores, and I like the little scene that it makes. With today's painting, I'm using more fluorescent, brighter colors that are a little bit less natural looking, so I'm expecting that I'll end up with more of a fan fantasy or whimsical type of garden scene um, with these colors. During the pandemic, um, I had a lot more time since I didn't have to commute to work. And that gave me time to take up um, acrylic pouring, which was awesome because I probably would have never been able to even attempt to do this with all of the things that I have to do, going to work, um, getting ready to go to work, making lunch, all of those types of things. I probably would have never been able to try this. Um, the pandemic's bad, but it did give me the opportunity to try this, which I am really happy for. It doesn't really make sense, but acrylic painting, even though it makes a giant mess in my kitchen, it's actually pretty relaxing to me, and you can't really beat the feeling of when you make a really cool painting, something really beautiful, it kind of makes you happy for a, a little while because it's so awesome. So you'll notice in some of my paintings, um, I really like a lot, a lot going on. I like it to be kind of comp complex with a bunch of layers, and I know that's not everybody's style, but I really like to have a painting that I look at month after month, and I always find something new to look at. Um, that's just why I have them kind of more chaotic looking, because I still see things in paintings that I created many months ago. I'm like, oh, I've never seen that before. So that's just really my style of painting. So this is my favorite part of the traveling, wandering, straight pour. It's when you pour the colors out of the cup and you get your first glance at what type of patterns, color combinations made. Um, it's kind of a little bit hard to figure out where to go when you're pouring it, but that's part of the fun is to make new patterns and try out new things. So I'm going to go ahead and put on music while I tilt out this pour. Um, make sure that you check out the other 
talented artists in this collaboration, and if you missed their live paintings, go ahead and go back and watch those. And stay tuned at the end to see this painting after it's dried. And have a great day. Thank you.